All right, man, let's talk about it. Uh, look like Kevin Ali put on social media today that he was basically saying goodbye to Overtime Elite. And most people speculating that he's going to go ahead and take the Detroit Pistons to head coach job. Uh, apparently, Charles Lee interviewed uh, yesterday, which was Thursday, and he was interviewing uh, today, which was Friday. And it sounded like they came to some type of verbal agreement. We knew he was the favorite for this job. Jaron Collins did an interview like I spoke on yes spoke about yesterday. But let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Don't forget the link tree. Find me on TikTok, Spotify, Anchor, Instagram, Twitter, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, got a question or a request or whatever. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter's probably the fastest way. But yeah, man. Um, so basically, he said that, you know, I put it on the screen if it allows me to, to be tripping sometime or most of the time lately. That he said to tell the overtime media family that, you know, we don't get even, we elevate, and, you know, basically, blah, say, blah, we appre I appreciate, you know, the opportunity. And, you know, like I said before, you know, it's been leaked out for weeks that. Troy Weaver was his preferred. Uh, that was Troy Weaver's preferred. Uh, that was his preferred uh, a candidate. Uh, Tom Gores balked at the can candidates. Then he turned around and wanted to do some big money at Monty Williams. Didn't get him and then basically gave Troy Weaver his way. And then when the owner started saying, well, I wasn't impressed with the guy's interview. And now this interview that Charles Lee and Troy Weaver went through, it was basically... They met with the front office and all that type of stuff. So they already met with the owner now. You know, could I believe that it was misreported or misinformation that, you know, Tom Gores wasn't impressed with the candidates? Yeah, I would I would I wouldn't have believed it or I would have said, Well, yeah, you can question it. Had it not came out, he threw a large amount of money at Monty Williams. And that's who he wanted. Or maybe that's who they kinda wanted as a collective agreement, but he said no. So he, I mean Trey Weaver job on the line. Ain't two ways around it. Um, I don't root. I root for the brothers. I don't root get against them. I root for the, the Detroit Pistons organization and all Detroit teams. I don't root against them, but you know, um, only if they like tanking or some shit like that. But uh, nonetheless, um, but this don't. This don't. If this don't, man. If they have another, if they have a season less than 30 wins, dude, or at least they ain't coming down the stretch to a 29, 28, 27 win season and they getting better and they getting hot, man, Troy Weaver gone, bro. You got to understand, they only extended his contract by one year. And obviously, if Tom Gores can go in his pocket and throw big money at, you know, uh, Monty Williams like that, Monty Williams still owe $21 million from the Phoenix Suns. And I'm thinking if he get another job, he not owed that whole $21 million anyway. I think they prorated or something like that. I could be wrong. I know how that's kind of how I work in football, but you know this is critical, bro. This this is a critical move, and if this shit don't work and this shit go horribly wrong, Trey Weaver done. But you got to understand, it ain't as much pressure. It's a lot of pressure because Tom Gore's probably want to win. But what's actually saving their ass is they got the 12 best attendance in the league, even you know in in the winning. In the season, they didn't win that much. They won less than 20 games. They've been doing that the last few games. And he can probably say, well, I ain't really want Dwayne. Y'all stuck me with Dwayne. Let me pick my own guy. Now he pick his own guy. Now, the biggest thing about this shit that's going on is this, this, that can really tip it not in his favor on Troy Weaver is that if this don't work, bro, you got your guy. It's still horribly wrong issue. And if Kevin Ali ain't got his ear enough for him to move on from Bagley, move on from Stewart, move on from Hayes, you know, and, and revolve around Stewart and and, and uh, Cade and Ivy, and they get through fifth, they do whatever they need to do with the fifth pick, which I think Cade Whitmore is the obvious pick there. And they don't do, I mean, like I told y'all, a lot got to go right. I ain't say damn near everything. I mean, a lot had to go right. You know, damn near everything had to go right. They didn't get the lottery. And now, you know, Kevin Alley getting a job, and you think about it, at least Charles Lee interviewed in Toronto. He was a candidate still to replace Mike Budenholzer. And, you know, think about it. Who else interviewed Kevin Alley? Who else to interview in Jaron Collins? Who else, you know, obviously, you know, Jaron Collins, I mean, uh, Charles Lee might not be a, a main candidate for another job. So who the hell 
is one of these guys, either Trey Weaver, a mad genius, or he gonna be mad fired with, with this his choice of selection for next head coach. And quite frankly, man, if I'm Charles Lee, I just probably would have felt like he just hired his homeboy. I didn't really have a chance. No matter how well I interview, how well I dress, no matter how well how per, how per plan, how pre planned I was, uh, and answered their questions, they just was gonna ride with him, and that's how I would have felt. And um. And like I said before, nobody else is checking for these guys not named Charles Lee, and, and that's a concern. You know, that and that's a major concern, bro. And um, but like I said before, if this get off to a bad start, they gone. They can't be, they can't be, you know, vying for a top lottery pick next year, bro. They just can't. And a lot of people like going down to Little Caesars because it's cool. I'm gonna go gamble. I'm going to spend some money on the, in the games. You hear people say, well, you know, I'm fine as long as the tickets don't shoot up, you know. They won't, but damn, I'd rather see a winner, bro, than, than, than pay a dirt cheap price. And then all the all the blue chip teams or the top tier teams come here and rest their superstars. You know what I'm saying? So if you're really concerned about, you know, upcharging $100 on the ticket, two, $300 on the ticket, dude, hey, fuck it, don't go. But if y'all just want a clown show to go down there and just do something cheap, you know, I don't, I mean, it is what it is. But, um, but yeah, I mean, this, you know, what's that song on, uh, <laughs> on Hustle and Float? It ain't over for me. Keep hustling. Like, Troy Weaver, man, it's the, if this is true. I mean, no matter if it's Charles Lee or not, if it's true, bro, you got to feel like the owner really didn't even want to fuck with me for real. You know what I'm saying? He ain't want to mess with me, man. Damn. You know? <laughs> Shout out to the niggas from Memphis. Damn, man. Shout out to the 901 Memphis Dope City, too, man. I like, ain't even want to work with Shawty, man. And, nah, uh, bro. Like I said before, he ain't even want to hire this dude, bro. So they, they got a short lease, bro. And if he start winning, well, nobody remember this shit. If they don't win, I don't think. I don't. But to be honest, no matter how optimistic. How much optimism that the offseason sell, and really the NFL offseason sell a lot of optimism, right? Um, I don't think Piston fans too optimistic, and I I think part of it is because of the lottery. But if this is a if this is a uh, if this is indicative of uh, what's to come, as far as the uh, free agent pool and them getting a the free agent, yeah. Really, it's gonna be it's gonna be Cade, Ivy, or you know, and Kevin Ollie and Bust. That's what it's gonna be. So, uh, congratulations to to Kevin Ollie if it's true. Hopefully, come here and be successful, um, and hopefully, can win a bunch of games in the championship eventually, Eastern Conference Championship, NBA title, with the Larry O'Brien Trophy. But uh, you know, also the Pistons gonna be headed for another rebuild before you blink. So. And they ain't recovered from, you know, uh, Rip, Chauncey, Ben, and all them leaving. So, it's crazy. But uh, check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Like I said, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Twitter's the fast way to reach me. Uh, you know, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk Playlist. More videos like this. Peace.